There are lots of different electrophilic aromatic substitution reactions, EASs, and one of them is the nitration. Can't get too far in aromatic chemistry without encountering the nitration. What is the nitration? Well, let's take a benzene ring and let's cook this up with nitric acid and typically another acid, and I'd say most commonly the other acid is something like sulfuric acid, something pretty, pretty strong. And oftentimes these are heated. And when you cook these up together, you get nitration of the benzene ring. And that looks like this. This is a nitrobenzene. We don't encounter nitro groups too often, so it might be worthwhile showing the Lewis structure of a nitro group. Nitro is one of those very rare functional groups where you have to have formal charges in your structure. Okay, so that's a nitrobenzene. How does this work? And I confess, I don't care for this mechanism, but it's what everybody shows, and who am I to go against what everybody shows? So here's our uh, structure for nitric acid. And this reacts with our additional strong acid, sulfuric acid. And what we're going to do is we're going to protonate this oxygen of nitric acid. That gives us, oh my goodness, all these lone pairs killing me. Okay, negative, whoop, we forgot negative over there. Sorry for that. And that gets us to here. So now we have two positive charges on this molecule. This oxygen can then kick off this water. That water is basically a really nice leaving group. And that neighboring O minus can push it right off. And that gives us, if you follow the electrons, two doubly bonded oxygens to our nitrogen. And this is called a nitronium ion. And it is a great, we'll capitalize that, great electrophile. Well, that's good. We need a great electrophile because we're going to try to react with benzene, the benzene ring, which is actually a very weak nucleophile. So we need a really strong reaction partner for our benzene ring. And there we go. And the benzene ring can be coaxed to attack. Push electrons up on oxygen. See, minus, O, and then M plus. And we have a positive charge now on the ring. And somewhere in this reaction, we're going to be able to find something that's basic enough to react with a beta hydrogen to the new carbocation, make a new, benz a new double bond, which will restore the three double bonds in our benzene ring, restore aromaticity, and get us back to a nice stable structure. And that gets us to our nitrated compound. And if you, you know, most people aren't going to draw out that full structure. They're just going to write it more shorthand, NO2. Either way is fine. This is the nitration mechanism. Um, it's a Reaction takes a fair amount of heat to get this to all occur, but it works really well, and it's a very common electrophilic aromatic substitution.